Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find the derivative of e to the power of x using this formula over here. Now this formula over here tells us that the derivative of the function of x is equal to the limit as change in x approaches zero of the function of x plus change in x minus the function of x over change in x. Now in this case since we've got this, okay, the derivative of the function of x is going to be equal to the limit as change in x approaches zero of e to the power of x plus change in x minus e to the power of x over change in x. And this is going to be equal to in the limit as change in x approaches zero e to the power of x times e to the power of change in x minus one in brackets over change in x. Now this is going to be equal to e to the power of x times the limit as change in x approaches zero of e to the power of change in x minus 1 over change in x. Okay, now I'm going to put this over here in brackets, alright? Now it turns out that this over here, okay, is equal to 1, okay? As change in x approaches 0, this expression over here is equal to 1. So what we get is the derivative of the function of x is equal to e to the power of x. And we've proven that if the function of x is e to the power of x, then its derivative is e to the power of x.